long, long ago, in the far distant past beyond the memory of man, nature, following its mysterious and wonderful way, created a lake. A lake like a piece of the ocean snatched from the bosom of the sea and cast far away among the wild mountain crags under the hot southern sun of Macedonia. Fishermen's boats, which first traversed its untouched surface, have retained the same appearance from those times to our own. What has been the substance of their adventurous life? Ever since the days when the lake was known under the name of Lichnidos, which means the bright water, and when the ancient coins bore the picture of the fishermen's boats, the latter have been a silent companion and witness of the people living in these parts. What makes the lake so bright? Is it the sky mirrored in its surface? Or is it the lake itself which lends the sky and all the surrounding scenery its picturesque beauty? The waters of this lake conceal many mysteries and wonders in their depths, a whole unknown world. One day, man came to the shores of the lake. He was not drawn to it by the mysterious depths. He came for other reasons. For many days, he cast his nets in the quiet waters of the lake, drawing from them some of the treasure hidden there. Within the depths of the lake, there remained concealed forever the legends of bygone days. Of the Illyrian necropolis in Trebeniste. Of the Roman times when the famous Via Ignatia ran along the shores of the lake, linking two seas. the tragic happenings during the reign of that unfortunate monarch, Samuel, the emperor of the Slovenes living on the shores of the lake. That was in the early Middle Ages. A new culture had sprang up from the ashes of one that was past and gone. 
a new culture strong, enlightened by the new conceptions of Slovene culture.